How does it all end? The end of the universe is a topic that merges the wonders of cosmology with the depths of philosophical thought, and it's one that continues to fascinate and puzzle even the most seasoned scientists. When we consider the universe's end, we enter a realm where numbers and scientific theories intertwine with existential questions. Join us on this fascinating journey as we delve into how the universe will end as we contemplate the ultimate fate of the universe, a leading theory, supported by a wealth of scientific data, emerges as the frontrunner in this cosmic mystery, the Big Freeze. This theory, also known as the heat death of the universe, is based on the understanding of thermodynamics, the branch of physics that deals with heat and temperature and their relation to energy and work. The Big Freeze scenario hinges on the second law of thermodynamics, which states that in an isolated system, in this case the universe, entropy, a measure of disorder or randomness, tends to increase over time. According to this theory, as the universe continues to expand, driven by the mysterious force known as dark energy, it will gradually cool as its energy is spread over an ever-increasing volume. This cooling will eventually lead to a state where all stars have exhausted their nuclear fuel, ceasing to shine. Galaxies will drift apart, and black holes will evaporate over staggering timescales. In this far-off future, the universe would reach a state of maximum entropy where no significant energy exchange occurs, and it becomes a uniformly cold and dark space. This big freeze scenario is considered the most likely outcome based on our current understanding of cosmology, particularly the measurements of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang, and the observation of the accelerating expansion of the universe. These observations indicate that the universe is flat and will likely continue to expand indefinitely. While this paints a rather bleak picture of the universe's distant future, it's worth noting that this is not an imminent event, but one that would occur over a time span so vast that it's beyond human comprehension. The time scales we're talking about are in the order of trillions of years, a duration far exceeding the current age of the universe which is about 13.8 billion years. Our understanding of the universe's fate has undergone a remarkable evolution over the years, shaped by advancements in technology, astrophysics, and theoretical models. This journey began in the early 20th century with the groundbreaking work of astronomers like Edwin Hubble. Hubble's observation of the redshift and the light from distant galaxies was the first solid evidence that the universe was expanding this discovery was a pivotal moment in cosmology as it shifted the scientific consensus away from the previously held belief in a static universe. In the decades that followed, scientists grappled with the implications of an expanding universe. Early models suggested that if the gravitational pull of all the matter in the universe were strong enough, it might eventually halt this expansion and cause the universe to collapse back in on itself, leading to the big crunch. This theory was in line with a cyclic view of the universe, where each crunch would be followed by another Big Bang, and so on. However, in the late 1990s, observations of type IA supernovae, incredibly bright and distant stellar explosions, provided startling new evidence. These observations suggested that not only is the universe expanding, but this expansion is also accelerating. This acceleration pointed to the existence of an unknown force, termed dark energy, which appears to be working against gravity, pushing the universe to expand at an ever-increasing rate. This revelation about dark energy was a turning point, leading to the current prevailing theory of the Big Freeze, or heat death. According to this theory, the universe will continue to expand indefinitely, energy will become more and more dispersed, and the universe will gradually cool and darken after trillions of years. Additionally, Modern cosmology has been revolutionized by the detailed mapping of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation. This relic radiation from the Big Bang has provided a wealth of information about the universe's early conditions and its subsequent evolution. Studies of the CMB have supported the idea of a flat and accelerating universe, underpinning the Big Freeze theory. The Big Crunch theory presents a fascinating and dramatic scenario for the ultimate fate of the universe. It's a concept that emerged as a counterpoint to the idea of perpetual expansion and is rooted in the principles of gravitational attraction. 
According to the Big Crunch Theory, the expansion of the universe, which began with the Big Bang, will eventually slow down and reverse due to the gravitational pull of all the matter and energy in the universe. This would lead to a gradual contraction of the universe, pulling galaxies, stars, and ultimately all matter back towards a singular point. This theory draws on the principles of general relativity and the idea that the fate of the universe is closely tied to its density. If the density of the universe is high enough, it would mean that the collective gravity of all cosmic objects could eventually overcome the force of the expansion. In this scenario, the universe would reach a maximum size and then begin to collapse and on itself. As the universe contracts, temperatures would rise dramatically, potentially reversing the process of the Big Bang in a mirror-like manner. The Big Crunch would culminate in a state of extremely high density and temperature, similar to the conditions of the early universe just moments after the Big Bang. Some theories even suggest that this crunch could lead to another Big Bang, proposing a cyclical model for the universe's existence, where each crunch is followed by a new expansion phase. However, the Big Crunch theory has become less favored in the scientific community in light of recent astronomical observations. The discovery of the accelerating expansion of the universe suggests that the amount of dark energy is greater than the gravitational pull of all the matter in the universe. This implies that the universe may continue to expand indefinitely, making the Big Crunch scenario less likely according to current cosmological models. The Big Rip and the Big Crunch are two distinct theoretical scenarios describing the possible end of the universe, each characterized by vastly different processes and outcomes. The Big Crunch, as previously discussed, involves the gradual reversal of the universe's expansion. In this scenario, the gravitational pull of all the matter and energy in the universe eventually becomes dominant, leading to a contracting universe. This contraction accelerates over time, ultimately culminating in a state where all matter and space-time are compressed into a singular, infinitely dense point. This theory hinges on the assumption that the density of the universe is high enough to counteract its expansion, a concept that aligns with the principles of general relativity, but has become less favored due to observations of the universe's accelerating expansion. In stark contrast, the Big Rip is based on the idea that the universe's expansion not only continues, but accelerates without bound due to the influence of dark energy. In this scenario, the force exerted by dark energy eventually overcomes all other forces, including gravity and electromagnetic forces, which hold galaxies, stars, planets, and even atoms together. As the universe expands at an increasingly rapid rate, it reaches a point where these fundamental forces can no longer maintain the integrity of structures in the universe. Galaxies would be torn apart, followed by the disintegration of individual star systems, planets, and eventually, the very fabric of matter itself. The Big Rip concludes with the universe being pulled apart at the most fundamental level, leaving behind a dilute, cold, and dark state with particles isolated at immense distances from each other. The key difference between the two theories lies in their underlying mechanisms. The Big Crunch is driven by gravity leading to a contraction of the universe, while the Big Rip is propelled by an overwhelming and unceasing acceleration of the universe's expansion due to dark energy. Additionally, the time scales for these events differ significantly. The Big Rip would occur over a shorter time scale compared to the Big Crunch, happening relatively quickly once the process begins in earnest. Both theories highlight the complexity and the dynamic nature of the universe, offering different perspectives on how the cosmic story might end. While current observations suggest that a big rip scenario might be more likely than a big crunch, these are still speculative scenarios in cosmology. The concept of heat death, also known as the big freeze, is a theoretical scenario for the ultimate fate of the universe. This concept is grounded in the laws of thermodynamics, particularly the second law, which states that the total entropy or disorder of an isolated system can never decrease over time. In the context of the universe, this means that entropy will continue to increase until it reaches a maximum. The heat death scenario predicts a future where the universe has expanded to the point where all energy is evenly distributed. This uniform distribution of energy 
leads to a state of no thermodynamic free energy, meaning that no more work can be extracted from the system. In simpler terms, it's like a battery that has been completely drained of all its power and cannot be recharged. In this state, stars will have exhausted their nuclear fuel and cease to shine, leaving behind white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. Over incredibly long timescales, even these remnants will fade away, with black holes evaporating via Hawking radiation. Galaxies will drift apart, and the universe will become a vast, cold, and dark place. Temperature differences, which are a primary driver of energetic processes in the universe, will vanish. Without these temperature variations, no energy transfer can occur, and the universe would effectively reach a state of maximum entropy and thermal equilibrium. At this point, with no energy gradients left, all physical processes as we understand them would cease. The heat death scenario is considered the most likely outcome based on current cosmological models that account for the observed accelerated expansion of the universe. This expansion, driven by dark energy, suggests that the universe will continue to grow indefinitely, leading to the eventual dispersal of all matter and energy. Black holes, the enigmatic and powerful entities in the cosmos, play a significant role in the heat death scenario. Over an unfathomable amount of time, black holes themselves will undergo a process known as Hawking radiation, where they slowly lose mass and energy, eventually evaporating entirely. This gradual evaporation of black holes could mark one of the universe's final acts in the heat death scenario. As they emit Hawking radiation, black holes would contribute to the increasing entropy of the universe. Eventually, when the last black hole evaporates, the universe would be left in a state of near-absolute cold with minimal energy and no significant structure, a stark contrast to the universe's fiery and dynamic beginnings. Additionally, the study of black holes and their properties, such as event horizons and singularities, offers insights into the fundamental nature of space-time and quantum mechanics. These insights could be crucial in developing a more comprehensive theory of the universe's fate, particularly in reconciling general relativity with quantum physics. Dark energy, a term that has captivated the imagination of scientists and the public alike, is a mysterious force that is playing a crucial role in shaping the future of the universe. Its discovery and subsequent study have significantly altered our understanding of the universe's fate. Fundamentally, dark energy is a form of energy that permeates all of space and tends to accelerate the expansion of the universe. It was first inferred from observations of distant type IA supernovae in the late 1990s. These observations unexpectedly revealed that the rate at which the universe is expanding is increasing over time rather than slowing down as was previously assumed. This acceleration could not be explained by the known forces of gravity acting on visible matter alone leading to the hypothesis of dark energy as an unknown repulsive force. The exact nature of dark energy remains one of the greatest mysteries in modern cosmology. It is invisible and does not interact with light, making it extremely difficult to detect directly. Scientists have proposed various theories to explain it, ranging from a cosmological constant, a concept introduced by Albert Einstein, to more complex ideas involving new fields and particles. In terms of its significance for the universe's future, dark energy is pivotal. If it continues to dominate the universe's energy composition, as current observations suggest, it will have profound implications for the cosmos's ultimate fate. Dark energy's repulsive force is causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate, leading to scenarios like the Big Rip or the Heat Death. In the Big Rip scenario, this acceleration becomes so extreme that it eventually overcomes all other forces, tearing apart galaxies, stars, planets, and even atomic structures. In the heat death scenario, the continued expansion leads to a universe that becomes increasingly cold and empty as stars and galaxies move farther apart and their energy dissipates. The dominance of dark energy means that the universe could continue expanding forever, becoming an ever larger, colder, and more isolated place. This is a departure from earlier theories, such as the Big Crunch, where the universe's expansion would eventually reverse. 
How is the universe's expansion rate measured? Measuring the expansion rate of the universe, a value known as the Hubble constant, is an intriguing process that combines advanced technology and astute astronomical observations. One of the primary methods for determining this rate is through examining the redshift of distant galaxies. This phenomenon occurs because as galaxies move away from us due to the expansion of the universe, the light they emit shifts towards the red end of the spectrum. By measuring how much this light has redshifted, astronomers can calculate the speed at which these galaxies are receding. To turn these speeds into a measure of the universe's expansion rate, astronomers use certain types of astronomical objects as standard candles. These are objects with known luminosities, such as type IA supernovae, which explode with a consistent brightness. By observing how bright these supernovae appear from Earth, their distance can be estimated. The farther away they are, the dimmer they appear. Similarly, Cepheid variables, a type of star with a predictable brightness pattern, serve the same purpose. By measuring these distances and correlating them with the speed at which galaxies are moving away, the rate of the universe's expansion can be deduced. Another method involves studying the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the residual thermal radiation from the Big Bang. Analysis of the CMB's tiny temperature fluctuations allows astronomers to infer various properties of the universe, including its expansion rate. This method provides a snapshot of the early universe, offering a different perspective from the observation of contemporary distant galaxies. Additionally, Baryon Acoustic Oscillations BAO, regular periodic fluctuations in the distribution of visible matter, are used. By examining the large-scale structure of the universe and these fluctuations, astronomers can determine how fast the universe was expanding at various points in history. A relatively newer method, gravitational lensing, also contributes to these measurements. This phenomenon occurs when the gravity of a massive object, like a galaxy cluster, bends the light from objects behind it. The extent of this bending can help infer the expansion rate, as it depends on the geometry of the universe, which is influenced by how fast the universe is expanding. Each method has its complexities and limitations, and interestingly, they sometimes yield slightly different values for the Hubble constant. This has led to a bit of a puzzle in cosmology, known as the Hubble tension. Now, what role does dark matter play in the universe's end? Dark matter, an elusive yet pivotal component of the universe, plays a significant role in theories about the universe's end. While dark matter is invisible and does not emit or absorb light, its presence is inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter, radiation, and the large-scale structure of the universe. Understanding the role of dark matter is crucial in predicting the cosmic finale. In the grand scheme of the universe's fate, dark matter's primary influence lies in its gravitational pull. This mysterious substance makes up about 27% of the universe's total mass and energy, significantly more than the ordinary matter that makes up stars, planets, and galaxies. Its gravitational force has been instrumental in shaping the structure of the universe, helping to pull matter together to form galaxies and clusters of galaxies. In scenarios like the Big Crunch, the gravitational pull of dark matter could play a crucial role. If dark matter's gravitational influence were strong enough to counteract the universe's expansion driven by dark energy, it could lead to a reversal of this expansion. In such a scenario, the universe would stop expanding and start contracting, eventually leading all matter to converge into a single, dense point. However, current observations, particularly of the accelerating expansion of the universe, suggest that the repulsive force of dark energy outweighs the gravitational pull of dark matter, making the Big Crunch scenario less likely under present understanding. In the heat death scenario, dark matter also has a role, albeit a less active one. As the universe expands and cools, dark matter, like regular matter, would become increasingly diluted. Its gravitational effects would weaken as galaxies and clusters of galaxies move farther apart. In a universe heading towards heat death, dark matter would continue to exist, but its ability to influence the structure and dynamics of the universe would diminish over time. Dark matter's role in the universe's end is also crucial 
in understanding the overall dynamics and evolution of the universe. It acts as a cosmic scaffolding, influencing the formation and movement of galaxies and galaxy clusters. However, the mysterious nature of dark matter means that many of its properties and its long-term impact on the universe are still not fully understood. Now, let's talk a bit about thermodynamics. Thermodynamics, the branch of physics dealing with heat and temperature and their relation to energy and work, plays a crucial role in understanding the universe's fate. The laws of thermodynamics, particularly the second law, are central to theories about how the universe will evolve and eventually reach its end state. The second law of thermodynamics states that in an isolated system, entropy, a measure of disorder or randomness, tends to increase over time. Applying this principle to the universe, which can be considered an isolated system on a cosmic scale, implies that the universe's entropy will continue to increase until it reaches a maximum. This increasing entropy has profound implications for the universe's fate. As entropy increases, the energy available to do work decreases, leading to a state where no significant energy transformations are possible, a scenario known as heat death or the big freeze. In this state, the universe would reach thermal equilibrium, with energy evenly distributed throughout and no more heat exchange between different parts of the universe. This uniformity means that all processes that depend on energy differences, such as the burning of stars, the formation of structures, and even life, would cease. The concept of increasing entropy also ties into the universe's expansion. As the universe expands, matter and energy are spread over a larger volume, leading to a more disordered state. If the universe continues to expand indefinitely, as suggested by the current understanding of dark energy, this dispersal of matter and energy would result in an ever-increasing entropy, ultimately leading to the heat death scenario. Moreover, the second law of thermodynamics might also have implications for the arrow of time, the one-way direction or asymmetry of time. In our everyday experience, time seems to move in one direction, from the past to the future, which coincides with the direction in which entropy increases. This has led some physicists to speculate that the increasing entropy of the universe might be fundamentally linked to our perception of time's flow. So, if we know this much, what limits our models in predicting the universe's end? In the quest to predict the universe's end, our models are confronted with a series of limitations that stem from both the vast complexities of the cosmos and the current boundaries of scientific understanding. These limitations are crucial to acknowledge, as they highlight the areas where our knowledge is still evolving. One of the primary constraints is our limited understanding of dark energy and dark matter. These mysterious components of the universe play a significant role in its evolution, yet they remain largely enigmatic. Dark energy, responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, is not directly observable, and its properties are inferred from its gravitational effects. This leaves a gap in our models, as we are essentially working with an incomplete picture of the universe's major constituents. Another limitation arises from the inherent challenges in measuring cosmic distances and phenomena. The universe is unimaginably vast, and measuring distances, speeds, and other astronomical parameters across such immense scales involves a high degree of complexity and potential error. For example, when we use standard candles like Type IA supernovae to measure distances, there's a chain of inferences and calibrations involved, each introducing possible sources of error. The Hubble tension is a specific example of these measurement challenges. It refers to the differing calculated values of the Hubble constant, which measures the rate of the universe's expansion based on observations of the early universe compared to those of the nearby, modern universe. This discrepancy hints at possible unknown factors at play in the universe's expansion, underscoring the limitations of our current models. Furthermore, our theoretical frameworks, primarily general relativity and quantum mechanics, have their own limitations. These foundational theories of physics have not yet been reconciled, particularly under conditions of extreme gravity and density, such as those within black holes or during the early moments of the universe. 
This gap in our theoretical understanding means our predictions might not be accurate under certain extreme conditions. Finally, the evolving nature of scientific knowledge itself is a limitation. What we understand about the universe has changed dramatically over time and is likely to continue evolving. New discoveries, technological advancements, and theoretical developments have the potential to significantly alter our understanding of the cosmos. How does entropy relate to the universe's end? Entropy, a concept rooted in the field of thermodynamics, plays a pivotal role in our understanding of the universe's ultimate fate. In the simplest terms, entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness within a system. The second law of thermodynamics states that in an isolated system, such as a universe, entropy tends to increase over time. This inexorable rise in entropy has profound implications for the end of the universe. As the universe evolves, it naturally tends towards a state of maximum entropy. This means that all energy differences within the universe are gradually equalized. In a universe where entropy has reached its peak, energy is uniformly distributed, and there are no gradients or differences in energy concentration to drive processes that produce change or do work. This state is often referred to as the heat death or big freeze of the universe. In such a scenario, stars, which are powered by nuclear reactions fueled by differences in energy, like the fusion of hydrogen into helium, would eventually exhaust their fuel and cease to burn. Over immense time scales, all stellar remnants would cool down, black holes would evaporate through Hawking radiation, and the universe would become a vast, dark, and cold expanse with minimal, if any, structural formations like galaxies or stars. This concept of increasing entropy leading to a heat death contrasts with the earlier cosmological idea of a big crunch, where the universe's expansion would reverse, leading to a contraction and eventual collapse into a singularity. The heat death scenario, underpinned by the second law of thermodynamics, instead suggests a gradual and inexorable slide into disorder and equilibrium. It's important to note that the time scale for the universe to reach the state of maximum entropy is staggeringly long, far exceeding the current age of the universe, which is about 13.8 billion years. The concept of entropy and its role in the universe's end not only provides insight into the potential far future state of the cosmos, but also underscores the fundamental physical laws that govern its evolution from the Big Bang to the present day and into the distant future. What are some alternative theories about the universe's final state? Exploring alternative theories about the universe's final state takes us into the realms of imaginative and advanced cosmology. These theories, while more speculative, provide intriguing possibilities about how the universe might eventually evolve. One intriguing idea is the cyclic or oscillating universe theory. Here, the universe is seen as undergoing endless cycles of expansion and contraction. Imagine a universe that expands from a Big Bang, stretches out for billions of years, and then contracts back into a dense state, only to explode outwards again. This rhythmic cycle of birth expansion, death, and rebirth challenges are traditional views of the universe's timeline. Another captivating concept is the multiverse theory. This theory expands our perspective beyond our own universe, suggesting the existence of multiple, perhaps infinite, universes. Each of these universes could have its own set of physical laws and characteristics. The fate of our universe in this context might just be a small part of an enormous, ever-changing multiverse. Then there's the Big Bounce concept, a variation of the cyclic universe idea. Instead of a series of Big Bangs and Big Crunches, the Big Bounce suggests a universe rebounding from a highly compressed state, bouncing back to expansion rather than crunching into a singularity. This model often incorporates elements from quantum theory and offers a less violent transition from one phase to another. Lastly, the theory of vacuum decay, or the false vacuum collapse, presents a universe-ending scenario that's both dramatic and sudden. In this theory, our universe exists in a false, unstable vacuum state. A transition to a true, more stable vacuum could happen spontaneously, rewriting the laws of physics and drastically altering the universe's structure. This hypothetical event would expand at the speed of light, 
creating a new kind of universe in its wake. How do distant galaxies inform us about the universe's future? Distant galaxies act as cosmic beacons, shedding light on the future of the universe. When we peer at these galaxies, we're actually looking back in time due to the vast distances their light must travel to reach us. This unique characteristic turns these galaxies into invaluable tools for understanding not just the universe's past, but also its potential future. One of the key ways distant galaxies inform us about the future is through their movement, specifically the phenomenon of redshift. As galaxies move away from us, the light they emit is stretched, making it appear more red. The concept of increasing entropy also ties into the universe's expansion. As the universe expands, matter and energy are spread over a larger volume, leading to a more disordered state. If the universe continues to expand indefinitely, as suggested by the current understanding of dark energy, this dispersal of matter and energy would result in an ever-increasing entropy, ultimately leading to the heat death scenario. Moreover, the second law of thermodynamics might also have implications for the arrow of time, the one-way direction or asymmetry of time. In our everyday experience, time seems to move in one direction, from the past to the future, which coincides with the direction in which entropy increases. This has led some physicists to speculate that the increasing entropy of the universe might be fundamentally linked to our perception of time's flow. So, if we know this much, what limits our models in predicting the universe's end? In the quest to predict the universe's end, our models are confronted with a series of limitations that stem from both the vast complexities of the cosmos and the current boundaries of scientific understanding. These limitations are crucial to acknowledge, as they highlight the areas where our knowledge is still evolving. One of the primary constraints is our limited understanding of dark energy and dark matter. These mysterious components of the universe play a significant role in its evolution, yet they remain largely enigmatic. Dark energy, responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, is not directly observable and its properties are inferred from its gravitational effects. This leaves a gap in our models, as we are essentially working with an incomplete picture of the universe's major constituents. Another limitation arises from the inherent challenges in measuring cosmic distances and phenomena. The universe is unimaginably vast, and measuring distances, speeds, and other astronomical parameters across such immense scales involves a high degree of complexity and potential error. For example, when we use standard candles like Type IA supernovae to measure distances, there's a chain of inferences and calibrations involved, each introducing possible sources of error. The Hubble tension is a specific example of these measurement challenges. It refers to the differing calculated values of the Hubble constant, which measures the rate of the universe's expansion based on observations of the early universe compared to those of the nearby modern universe. This discrepancy hints at possible unknown factors at play in the universe's expansion, underscoring the limitations of our current models. Furthermore, our theoretical frameworks, primarily general relativity and quantum mechanics, have their own limitations. These foundational theories of physics have not yet been reconciled, particularly under conditions of extreme gravity and density, such as those within black holes or during the early moments of the universe. This gap in our theoretical understanding means our predictions might not be accurate under certain extreme conditions. Finally, the evolving nature of scientific knowledge itself is a limitation. What we understand about the universe has changed dramatically over time and is likely to continue evolving. New discoveries, technological advancements, and theoretical developments have the potential to significantly alter our understanding of the cosmos. How does entropy relate to the universe's end? Entropy, a concept rooted in the field of thermodynamics, plays a pivotal role in our understanding of the universe's ultimate fate. In the simplest terms, entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness within a system. The second law of thermodynamics states that in an isolated system, such as a universe, entropy tends to increase over time. This inexorable rise in entropy has profound implications for the end of the universe. As the universe evolves, it naturally tends towards a state of maximum entropy. 
This means that all energy differences within the universe are gradually equalized. In a universe where entropy has reached its peak, energy is uniformly distributed and there are no gradients or differences in energy concentration to drive processes that produce change or do work. This state is often referred to as the heat death or big freeze of the universe. In such a scenario, stars, which are powered by nuclear reactions fueled by differences in energy, like the fusion of hydrogen into helium, would eventually exhaust their fuel and cease to burn. Over immense time scales, all stellar remnants would cool down, black holes would evaporate through Hawking radiation, and the universe would become a vast, dark, and cold expanse with minimal, if any, structural formations like galaxies or stars. This concept of increasing entropy leading to a heat death contrasts with the earlier cosmological idea of a big crunch, where the universe's expansion would reverse, leading to a contraction and eventual collapse into a singularity. The heat death scenario, underpinned by the second law of thermodynamics, instead suggests a gradual and inexorable slide into disorder and equilibrium. It's important to note that the time scale for the universe to reach the state of maximum entropy is staggeringly long, far exceeding the current age of the universe, which is about 13.8 billion years. The concept of entropy and its role in the universe's end not only provides insight into the potential far future state of the cosmos, but also underscores the fundamental physical laws that govern its evolution from the Big Bang to the present day and into the distant future. What are some alternative theories about the universe's final state? Exploring alternative theories about the universe's final state takes us into the realms of imaginative and advanced cosmology. These theories, while more speculative, provide intriguing possibilities about how the universe might eventually evolve. One intriguing idea is the cyclic or oscillating universe theory. Here, the universe is seen as undergoing endless cycles of expansion and contraction. Imagine a universe that expands from a Big Bang, stretches out for billions of years, and then contracts back into a dense state, only to explode outwards again. This rhythmic cycle of birth, expansion, death, and rebirth challenges our traditional views of the universe's timeline. Another captivating concept is the multiverse theory. This theory expands our perspective beyond our own universe, suggesting the existence of multiple, perhaps infinite, universes. Each of these universes could have its own set of physical laws and characteristics. The fate of our universe in this context might just be a small part of an enormous, ever-changing multiverse. Then there's the Big Bounce concept, a variation of the cyclic universe idea. Instead of a series of Big Bangs and Big Crunches, the Big Bounce suggests a universe rebounding from a highly compressed state, bouncing back to expansion rather than crunching into a singularity. This model often incorporates elements from quantum theory and offers a less violent transition from one phase to another. Lastly, the theory of vacuum decay, or the false vacuum collapse, presents a universe-ending scenario that's both dramatic and sudden. In this theory, our universe exists in a false, unstable vacuum state. A transition to a true, more stable vacuum could happen spontaneously, rewriting the laws of physics and drastically altering the universe's structure. This hypothetical event would expand at the speed of light, creating a new kind of universe in its wake. How do distant galaxies inform us about the universe's future? Distant galaxies act as cosmic beacons, shedding light on the future of the universe. When we peer at these galaxies, we're actually looking back in time due to the vast distances their light must travel to reach us. This unique characteristic turns these galaxies into invaluable tools for understanding not just the universe's past, but also its potential future. One of the key ways distant galaxies inform us about the future is through their movement, specifically the phenomenon of redshift. As galaxies move away from us, the light they emit is stretched, making it appear more red. This redshift is crucial in understanding the rate at which the universe is expanding. By measuring the redshift of various galaxies at different distances, astronomers can track how the universe's expansion rate has changed over time. This data is essential in predicting whether the universe will continue to expand indefinitely, 
leading to a scenario like the Big Freeze, or if it might follow a different path. Another aspect is the insight distant galaxies provide into the nature of dark energy. This mysterious force, which makes up about 68% of the universe, is driving its accelerated expansion by observing how distant galaxies are speeding away from each other. Scientists can infer properties of dark energy. Understanding how dark energy has influenced the universe's expansion in the past helps cosmologists make educated guesses about how it will shape the future. Distant galaxies also offer a window into the evolution of cosmic structures. By observing the formation and interaction of galaxies far away, we learn about the life cycle of galaxies, including phenomena like galaxy mergers. This knowledge helps us predict the long-term future of galaxy clusters, including our own local group. Moreover, by studying the light from these galaxies, astronomers analyze the life cycles of stars and the chemical makeup of the universe. This information tells us about the future of stellar evolution and how the distribution of elements might change over billions of years. Cosmic microwave background or CMB radiation plays a fundamental role in cosmological theories, including those concerning the universe's ultimate fate. This radiation is the afterglow of the Big Bang, the universe's birth, and serves as a crucial piece of evidence for understanding the universe's earliest moments and its subsequent evolution. The CMB is essentially a snapshot of the universe when it was only about 380,000 years old, a time when it had cooled enough for electrons and protons to combine into hydrogen atoms, making the universe transparent to radiation for the first time. This radiation, which we can still detect today, has cooled down to microwave wavelengths due to the universe's expansion, but it provides a wealth of information. One of the most significant roles of the CMB is in the measurement of the Hubble constant, which denotes the rate of the universe's expansion. By analyzing the CMB data, scientists can determine how fast the universe was expanding at different points in its history. This data is crucial in testing and refining models about the universe's fate, such as the Big Freeze or Big Rip scenarios. The CMB also gives us insights into the shape and composition of the universe. The variations in temperature and density visible in the CMB allow astronomers to calculate the universe's curvature and estimate the relative amounts of ordinary matter, dark matter, and dark energy. This understanding is essential for predicting how these components will influence the universe's expansion and eventual fate. The discovery of the CMB was pivotal in solidifying the Big Bang Theory, the foundation upon which many cosmological theories about the universe's end are built. By confirming that the universe had a hot, dense beginning, the CMB sets the stage for understanding how it might evolve and possibly end. The detailed study of the CMB also places constraints on alternative theories about the universe's fate. Any viable theory must be consistent with the conditions and parameters inferred from the CMB data. For instance, cyclic or oscillating universe models must account for the uniformity and properties of the CMB observed today. Can the universe's end be simulated or modeled? Simulating or modeling the universe's end is a formidable task, yet it's one that astrophysicists and cosmologists are actively engaging with, using advanced technology and complex mathematical models. The endeavor involves integrating a wealth of astronomical data with theoretical principles from physics to explore and predict how the universe might evolve and eventually conclude. The process of simulating the universe's end hinges largely on understanding and modeling the forces at play, such as gravity, dark matter, and dark energy. Scientists use sophisticated computer simulations that incorporate equations from general relativity to predict how galaxies, stars, and cosmic structures will behave over time. These simulations are particularly valuable in visualizing scenarios like the Big Crunch or the Big Freeze where the universe's large-scale dynamics play a crucial role. For instance, in simulating the Big Crunch, models focus on the gravitational pull exerted by all the matter in the universe, calculating how this might eventually overcome the expansion driven by dark energy. In contrast, simulations of the Big Freeze scenario involve projecting the current observed rate of expansion into the future, taking into account the influence of dark energy in driving galaxies apart until all activity ceases. Moreover, 
Cosmologists use these models to explore the role of dark matter and dark energy, two of the most mysterious and dominant components of the universe. By tweaking the properties and behavior of these components in their models, scientists can explore a range of outcomes and understand how sensitive the universe's fate is to these factors. While these simulations provide valuable insights, they are constrained by our current understanding of the universe's laws and components. The models are only as accurate as the data and theories they are based on. For example, any changes in our understanding of dark energy or discoveries of new cosmic phenomena could significantly alter the predicted outcomes. Additionally, the vast time scales involved in cosmic evolution present another challenge. These simulations often deal with billions to trillions of years, far beyond human time scales. This makes it difficult to test and verify the predictions, leaving them largely in the realm of theoretical astrophysics. How do quantum mechanics concepts influence our understanding of the universe's end? Quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that deals with the very small, has profound implications for our understanding of the universe's end. This field of study introduces concepts that are fundamentally changing the way scientists think about the cosmos, especially when it comes to its final state. One key area where quantum mechanics influences our understanding is in the realm of black holes. Quantum theories, particularly those related to Hawking radiation, suggest that black holes emit radiation and can gradually lose mass over incredibly long periods. This idea introduces a mechanism by which black holes, some of the most massive and enduring objects in the universe, might eventually dissipate. In the context of the universe's end, this process could play a significant role, especially in scenarios like the heat death where black holes are among the last remaining structures. Furthermore, quantum mechanics introduces the concept of quantum fluctuations, random changes in energy at a microscopic level. In a universe heading towards a state of maximum entropy, like the proposed heat death, these fluctuations could have interesting implications. Over immensely long timescales, quantum fluctuations could potentially lead to the formation of new particle structures or even new universes. As some theories suggest, this adds a layer of unpredictability and complexity to our understanding of the universe's final state. Another area where quantum mechanics is influential is in the study of dark matter and dark energy. While these components are crucial in determining the universe's fate, their nature is still not fully understood. Quantum theories could provide insights into the properties of these mysterious components, influencing models of how the universe might evolve. Additionally, the reconciliation of quantum mechanics with general relativity is one of the biggest challenges in modern physics. This reconciliation is crucial for understanding extreme cosmic conditions, such as those in the early universe or inside black holes. Achieving this could radically change our predictions about the universe's end, especially in scenarios involving the collapse or rebirth of the universe. What is the role of time in the universe's end theories? The concept of time plays a central and intriguing role in theories about the universe's end. Time, as we experience it, is a measure of change and progression from one state to another. In cosmological terms, understanding time is key to unraveling how the universe might evolve and eventually reach its conclusion. Firstly, the immense time scales involved in these theories are difficult to comprehend. We're talking about billions to trillions of years into the future far beyond human history or even the current age of the universe, which is about 13.8 billion years. For instance, the heat death of the universe, a state of maximum entropy where all cosmic processes cease, is predicted to occur over a time frame so vast that it dwarfs all known temporal scales. In the context of the universe's fate, time is also linked with the concept of entropy, a key element in thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy in an isolated system tends to increase over time, suggests that as time progresses, the universe should become more disordered. This increasing disorder over time guides predictions about the universe drifting towards a state of equilibrium, where no significant energy exchanges occur, leading to the heat death scenario. Moreover, time in cosmology is not just a linear progression from past to future. 
Theoretical models that explore the universe's fate often delve into the realm of time as a dimension that's intertwined with the fabric of space itself. In these models, the geometry and fate of the universe are linked with how time itself is structured and understood. For example, in theories of a cyclic universe, time might be seen as looping or repeating, with each cycle of the universe's birth, expansion, and death taking place over an unending succession of epochs. Furthermore, time is a crucial factor in understanding the evolution and decay of cosmic structures. The lifespans of stars, the formation and dissolution of galaxies, and the gradual processes like the evaporation of black holes through Hawking radiation are all time-dependent processes that contribute to the universe's overall trajectory towards its end. Now, how could new particle discoveries alter our predictions? The discovery of new particles could significantly alter our predictions about the universe's end, offering fresh insights and potentially reshaping our understanding of fundamental physics. Particle physics, the branch of physics that studies the smallest constituents of matter, has already shown its capacity to revolutionize our understanding of the universe, and any new discoveries would likely continue this trend. New particles could provide crucial information about dark matter, which constitutes about 27% of the universe, but remains one of its most mysterious aspects. Currently, we infer the presence of dark matter only through its gravitational effects. If new particles were discovered that could be identified as constituents of dark matter, it would open up a whole new realm of physics, allowing us to understand more about how this elusive substance influences the structure and evolution of the universe. This could, in turn, affect theories about how the universe might end, particularly if dark matter behaves differently than we currently assume. Additionally, new particle discoveries could shed light on dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerating expansion of the universe. Understanding the particle nature of dark energy, if it has one, could be pivotal in predicting the universe's fate. For instance, if dark energy were found to change over time, this might suggest that the universe's expansion could also change, potentially leading to scenarios like the Big Rip or even a reversal to a Big Crunch. Another area where new particles could impact our predictions is in the realm of quantum mechanics and its integration with general relativity. Discovering particles that interact with gravity in unexpected ways or that reveal new aspects of quantum gravity could help in developing a theory of quantum gravity, a long-sought goal in physics. This could revolutionize our understanding of extreme cosmic conditions, such as those inside black holes or at the beginning of the universe, and thus influence theories about the universe's end. Moreover, new particles might challenge or refine the standard model of particle physics, the current best theory we have for explaining the fundamental forces and particles in the universe. Any changes to this model could have far-reaching implications, altering how we understand the fundamental building blocks of the universe and their interactions. The philosophical implications of the universe's end are as profound as they are varied, touching upon questions that have intrigued humanity for centuries. The idea that the universe might have a definitive end challenges our fundamental understanding of existence, time, and our place in the cosmos. Firstly, Contemplating the universe's end forces us to grapple with the concept of impermanence on a cosmic scale. For many, the idea that the universe, along with all its galaxies, stars, and even the atoms that make up our bodies, could cease to exist or transform beyond recognition is a humbling reminder of the transitory nature of existence. This can lead to a philosophical inquiry into the value and meaning of our actions, civilizations, and even the pursuit of knowledge when faced with the vast, unfeeling expanse of the cosmos. Additionally, theories about the universe's end also bring into focus the nature of time. If the universe is heading towards a state, like the heat death, where change becomes impossible, it prompts questions about the very nature of time itself. Is time an eternal, ever-flowing river, or does it have a beginning and an end? Such questions intersect with philosophical and scientific discussions about the nature of reality and our perception of it. The possibility of scenarios like the cyclic universe, where the universe undergoes an infinite series of expansions and contractions, also presents philosophical musings on the nature of eternity 
and the possibility of an eternal return. This idea, which suggests that the universe and all its events might endlessly repeat, raises questions about determinism, free will, and the uniqueness of human experience. Furthermore, the study of the universe's end touches upon existential themes. The realization that the universe and everything in it might one day cease to exist can evoke a sense of existential dread, but it can also lead to a sense of liberation or a call to find meaning in the here and now. It prompts us to consider what it means to be alive in a universe that is finite and ever-changing. Lastly, the contemplation of the universe's end also encourages a re-evaluation of our understanding of progress and our technological and scientific endeavors. It invites us to consider the role of humanity in the broader cosmic context and challenges us to think about the legacy we leave behind, not just on Earth, but as part of the universe's grand narrative. How have different cultures viewed the universe's end? Throughout history, different cultures have had their own unique views on how the universe might end, reflecting a rich tapestry of cosmological myths, religious beliefs, and philosophical ideas. These cultural narratives often blend the boundaries between science, philosophy, and spirituality, offering diverse perspectives on the universe's ultimate fate. In Western traditions, influenced heavily by Judeo-Christian beliefs, the end of the universe has often been envisioned in terms of an apocalyptic event. This view, encapsulated in texts like the Book of Revelation, describes a final judgment and transformation rather than a physical end of the cosmos. This perspective focuses more on moral and spiritual conclusions than on scientific phenomena. Contrastingly, many Eastern philosophies and religions, such as Hinduism and Buddhism, present a cyclical view of the universe. In Hindu cosmology, for instance, the universe undergoes repeated cycles of creation, preservation, and destruction, a concept known as Maha Yuga. This cyclical process is not just a physical phenomenon, but is also imbued with spiritual significance, symbolizing the eternal processes of birth, life, and rebirth. Indigenous cultures around the world also have their own interpretations. For example, some Native American traditions speak of a series of worlds or ages, each ending in a transition to the next through various forms of renewal or destruction. These stories often emphasize harmony with nature and the interconnectedness of all life, with the end of the universe being a part of a natural and sacred cycle. In Norse mythology, there is the concept of Ragnarok, a series of events including a great battle that leads to the death of major gods and the flooding of the world. After these cataclysms, the world is foretold to resurface anew and fertile, with the surviving and returning gods meeting and two human survivors repopulating the earth. In modern times, as scientific understanding of the universe has grown, these cultural narratives have sometimes merged with scientific theories. The idea of an expanding universe heading towards a cold, dark end, for example, might resonate with apocalyptic and cyclical views alike, seen as either a final state of entropy or just one phase in an ongoing cycle of cosmic processes. Each of these cultural views reflects not just beliefs about the end of the universe, but also deeper values and understandings about life, existence, and the nature of change and continuity. They illustrate how humanity has long pondered not just the physical realities of the cosmos, but also the metaphysical and spiritual dimensions of its beginning and end. Now, let's talk a bit about an interesting hypothesis. The vacuum decay hypothesis is a fascinating and somewhat unsettling theory in the realm of cosmology and theoretical physics. It suggests a way in which the universe could end not with a bang or a whimper, but with a bubble. This hypothesis revolves around the concept of a false vacuum, which is a tentative or unstable state of space that appears empty but actually contains potential energy. In this scenario, our current universe is thought to exist in a false vacuum state a kind of temporary and unstable condition that could decay into a more stable state, known as the true vacuum. This decay would be initiated by a random quantum fluctuation, and once started, it would create a bubble of this true vacuum. The truly unsettling part of this hypothesis is what happens next. This bubble would expand at the speed of light, and anything it touches would be altered at a fundamental level. The laws of physics, as we know them, could be completely different 
inside this bubble. Everything we know, galaxies, stars, planets, and even the basic building blocks of matter could be destroyed or drastically changed as the bubble sweeps through them. The vacuum decay is entirely theoretical and importantly, not something that could be predicted or expected in the near future. It's based on the fields of quantum mechanics and quantum field theory, which deal with the behavior of the universe at the smallest scales. The hypothesis comes from the idea that what we understand as the vacuum of space might actually be teeming with invisible energy fields. One of the intriguing aspects of this theory is that it could happen at any time and without any warning because the process would travel at the speed of light. We wouldn't see it coming. However, it's important to note that this is a highly speculative hypothesis and is one of many ideas about how the universe might end. Can technological advancements provide new insights into the universe's end? Technological advancements have always been a driving force in expanding our understanding of the cosmos, and they certainly hold the key to unlocking new insights into how the universe might end. As we develop more advanced instruments and computational models, our ability to observe, measure, and interpret cosmic phenomena continues to grow, bringing us closer to answering some of the most profound questions about the universe's ultimate fate. One significant area where technology is making strides is in the field of observational astronomy. The development of more powerful telescopes, both ground-based and space-based, allows astronomers to observe distant cosmic events and structures with unprecedented clarity and depth. For example, Telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are designed to peer further into the universe than ever before, potentially revealing new information about the early universe that could inform our predictions about its end. In addition to observational tools, advancements in computational technology are playing a crucial role. Supercomputers are now capable of processing vast amounts of data and running complex simulations at speeds that were unimaginable just a few decades ago. These simulations enable scientists to model different scenarios for the universe's end, ranging from the big freeze to the big rip with greater accuracy and detail. By adjusting variables and parameters in these models, researchers can explore a wide range of possibilities and outcomes. Moreover, advancements in particle physics, facilitated by technologies like particle accelerators and detectors, are crucial in understanding the fundamental forces and particles that govern the universe's behavior. Discoveries in this field could shed light on dark matter and dark energy, two of the most significant factors in determining the universe's fate. For instance, experiments at facilities like the Large Hadron Collider LHC have the potential to uncover new particles or phenomena that could revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. Technological progress in fields like quantum computing and nanotechnology also holds promise for cosmological research. Quantum computers, for example, could solve complex problems and analyze data in ways that are currently impossible, potentially offering new insights into the quantum aspects of the universe and its ultimate destiny. An interesting part of understanding the end of the universe are supernovae. Supernovae. The spectacular explosions marking the end of a star's life contribute significantly to our understanding of cosmic endings and the broader narrative of the universe. These stellar phenomena are not just visually stunning. They are also rich sources of information, helping astronomers unlock secrets of the cosmos, including clues about how it might eventually end. When a star goes supernova, it briefly outshines entire galaxies emitting a vast amount of light and energy. This makes supernovae observable over great distances, turning them into cosmic milestones that can be used to measure and understand the universe. One of the key contributions of supernovae to cosmology is their role as standard candles. Certain types of supernovae, known as type IA supernovae, have a consistent peak brightness, allowing astronomers to calculate their distance from Earth accurately. By measuring the distance to these supernovae and their redshift, the speed at which they are moving away from us due to the universe's expansion, scientists can infer the rate of this expansion. This was precisely how astronomers came to the groundbreaking discovery that the universe's expansion is accelerating, leading to the theory of dark energy, a mysterious force that is driving this acceleration. 
The study of supernovae, therefore, has direct implications for understanding not only the fate of individual stars, but also the ultimate fate of the universe. Whether it's a big freeze, big rip, or another scenario, the behavior of dark energy, to which supernovae have provided crucial insights, is a key factor. Furthermore, supernovae play a vital role in the cosmic cycle of matter. The explosions scatter heavy elements, which were forged in the cores of stars across the universe. These elements are essential for forming new stars, planets, and even the building blocks of life. In a way, supernovae represent both an end and a beginning, a concept that resonates with many theories about the universe's cyclical nature or its continuous evolution. What is the role of galactic collisions in the universe's fate? Galactic collisions, dramatic and grand scale events in the cosmos, play an intriguing role in shaping the fate of the universe. While they might sound violent, these collisions are fundamental processes in the universe's evolution and tell us a lot about its eventual destiny. In the vast expanse of the universe, galaxies bound by gravity often come close and interact with each other. These interactions can range from slight gravitational tugs to full-blown mergers. When galaxies collide, they don't crash in the way two cars might on a road. Instead, due to the vast distances between stars, they mostly pass through each other. But this process significantly affects the galaxies involved. One of the primary effects of galactic collisions is the triggering of new star formation. As galaxies merge, the gas clouds within them can collide and compress, leading to the birth of new stars. This process can lead to a temporary burst of luminosity and activity within the merging galaxies, a phenomenon that gives us insights into the life cycles of galaxies and star formation processes. Over cosmic timescales, these collisions contribute to the growth and evolution of galaxies. Larger galaxies, like the Milky Way, have grown to their current sizes partly by merging with smaller galaxies. This aspect of galactic evolution is crucial in understanding the long-term fate of the universe. In a scenario like the Big Freeze, where the universe continues expanding indefinitely, these galactic mergers might become increasingly rare as galaxies drift further apart. This would lead to a future where galaxies are isolated islands in an ever-expanding, cold universe. Galactic collisions also have implications for the distribution of dark matter. Dark matter, which makes up a significant portion of a galaxy's mass, influences the dynamics of these collisions. By studying galactic mergers, astronomers can learn more about the nature of dark matter, which in turn helps in understanding how the universe might evolve. In the distant future, one of the most significant galactic collisions anticipated is between our Milky Way and the neighboring Andromeda galaxy. Predicted to occur in about 4 billion years, this event will dramatically reshape both galaxies. However, it's unlikely to have a direct impact on any planetary systems, including our own solar system, due to the vast distances between stars. Instead, the merged galaxy, sometimes humorously referred to as Milcomeda or Andromeda Way, will mark a new chapter in the cosmic story of our local group of galaxies. Can the study of exoplanets offer clues about the universe's end? The study of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system, is a relatively new and rapidly evolving field in astronomy. While at first glance, exoplanets might seem too distant and unrelated to questions about the universe's end, their study can actually offer valuable clues and insights into this grand cosmic puzzle. One way exoplanets contribute to our understanding of the universe's fate is through the study of planetary systems formation and evolution. By observing a diverse array of exoplanetary systems, astronomers can better understand how these systems develop over time. This knowledge adds to our understanding of how matter behaves and evolves in the universe. For instance, Learning about the life cycle of planetary systems, including how they form and eventually die, can offer parallels to the larger scale processes at play in the universe. Exoplanets also serve as laboratories for understanding the conditions that might lead to the end of planetary systems, which, in a broader sense, contributes to our understanding of the end of cosmic structures. For example, 
Studying exoplanets that are close to their stars and experiencing extreme conditions can give us insights into how planetary systems might be disrupted or destroyed. This can help in painting a broader picture of the stages leading to the end of stellar and planetary systems in the universe. Furthermore, the study of exoplanets contributes to our understanding of habitability and the possibility of life elsewhere in the universe. This aspect, while not directly related to the universe's end, feeds into philosophical and scientific discussions about life's rarity and the evolution of the cosmos. It helps to contextualize our existence in a universe that is constantly changing and evolving. Another way exoplanets can inform our understanding of the universe's fate is through the study of planetary atmospheres. By analyzing the atmospheres of exoplanets, astronomers can learn about their compositions and how they change over time under various cosmic influences. This knowledge can be extrapolated to understand how different cosmic conditions, such as radiation from nearby supernovae or the effects of dark matter and dark energy, might affect planetary systems as the universe ages. How does the universe's large-scale structure influence its destiny? The large-scale structure of the universe, encompassing the vast web of galaxies, galaxy clusters, superclusters, and voids, plays a crucial role in influencing its destiny. This structure, shaped by the distribution of matter and the gravitational forces at play, is not just a static backdrop, but an active participant in the universe's ongoing evolution. One of the key aspects of this large-scale structure is its influence on the universe's expansion. Galaxies and other cosmic structures are bound together by gravity, and how they are distributed and move affects the dynamics of the universe's growth. For example, in regions where galaxies are densely packed, like in superclusters, gravitational forces can slow down the rate of expansion locally. Conversely, in vast cosmic voids, where galaxies are sparse, expansion can proceed relatively unimpeded. The behavior of dark matter and dark energy, two of the most significant and mysterious constituents of the universe, also plays a vital role in shaping the large-scale structure and, by extension, the universe's fate. Dark matter, through its gravitational pull, helps to form and maintain the cosmic web of galaxies and clusters. Dark energy, on the other hand, is driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. The interplay between these two forces influences how structures in the universe evolve and interact, which in turn affects the universe's long-term trajectory. Moreover, the large-scale structure of the universe can serve as a lens to understand its overall geometry and curvature. This is crucial in determining the universe's fate. If the universe is closed, it might eventually stop expanding and start contracting, leading to a potential big crunch scenario. If it's open or flat, as current evidence suggests, it would likely continue expanding indefinitely, possibly leading to a big freeze or big rip. The distribution of cosmic structures also has implications for the universe's ultimate fate in terms of entropy and energy distribution. As the universe evolves, energy becomes more dispersed across its vast expanse. The structure of the universe influences how this dispersion occurs and how entropy increases over time, which is central to theories like the heat death. What is the role of string theory in understanding the universe's end? String theory, a field of theoretical physics that attempts to reconcile quantum mechanics and general relativity, offers a unique perspective on the universe's end. This theory proposes that the fundamental constituents of reality are not point-like particles, but rather tiny, vibrating strings. While string theory is highly complex and still largely speculative, it introduces concepts that could potentially reshape our understanding of the cosmos and its fate. One of the most intriguing aspects of string theory is its implication for the fabric of the universe. In string theory, Multiple dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one dimension of time are suggested. The behavior of these extra dimensions and how they interact with the dimensions we experience could have significant implications for the universe's fate. For instance, the way these dimensions evolve over time might influence the rate of the universe's expansion or the nature of dark energy. String theory also delves into the realm of quantum gravity, 
a field that seeks to describe gravity according to the principles of quantum mechanics. Understanding quantum gravity is essential for explaining phenomena like the singularity of a black hole or the conditions of the early universe. In the context of the universe's end, a better understanding of quantum gravity could provide insights into how the universe might behave as it continues to expand, potentially revealing new scenarios beyond the currently favored ones like the Big Freeze or the Big Rip. Moreover, string theory introduces the concept of multiple universes or a multiverse. This idea suggests that our universe might be just one of many, each with potentially different physical laws. If this aspect of string theory holds true, it could radically alter our understanding of the universe's destiny. The fate of our universe might be just one part of a much larger and more complex multiverse, where each universe has its own unique end. What are the observable signs of the universe heading towards its end? Observing the signs of the universe heading towards its end is a task that blends intricate astronomical measurements with theoretical predictions. While the end of the universe is an event projected to occur over an immensely long time scale, far beyond human existence, there are certain observable phenomena that can give us clues about how the universe might eventually wind down. One of the most significant signs is the rate of the universe's expansion. Astronomers measure this expansion by observing the redshift of distant galaxies, the way their light stretches to longer, redder wavelengths as they move away from us. This redshift not only confirms that the universe is expanding, but also helps scientists calculate how fast this expansion is happening. The discovery that this expansion is accelerating was a pivotal moment in cosmology, hinting at the influence of dark energy. If this acceleration continues, it supports scenarios like the Big Freeze, where the universe would expand indefinitely, becoming colder and emptier over time. Another sign is the life cycle of stars. Stars are the universe's main energy factories, and by observing their birth, life, and death, astronomers can glean insights into the universe's long-term future. For instance, as the universe ages, the rate of star formation is expected to slow down, and existing stars will gradually burn out. Observing older galaxies, where star formation has slowed significantly, can give us a preview of what might happen in our own galaxy billions of years from now. The behavior of galaxies themselves also offers clues. In a universe heading towards a cold and isolated end, we expect to see galaxies moving away from each other, reducing the rate of galactic collisions and mergers over time. Observations with powerful telescopes can track these movements and interactions, providing data that fits into our long-term models of the universe's fate. Additionally, the fate of the universe is tied to the behavior of cosmic structures like black holes. According to theories like Hawking radiation, black holes should emit radiation very slowly, leading to their eventual evaporation over incredibly long timescales. The study of black holes and their properties, therefore, gives us a window into these deep future events. From black holes to light, how does the speed of light play a role in observing the universe's demise? The speed of light plays a crucial role in how we observe and understand the potential demise of the cosmos. Light travels at approximately 299,792 kilometers per second, 186,282 miles per second, and this finite speed shapes our perception of the universe in significant ways. Firstly, the speed of light sets a limit on how far into the universe we can see, and therefore, how much we can learn about its fate. When we look at distant objects in space, we're actually looking back in time. For instance, observing a galaxy one million light years away means we are seeing it as it was one million years ago, because the light from that galaxy has taken one million years to reach us. This look back time allows astronomers to study the universe's history and evolution. By observing galaxies at different distances, we can piece together a timeline of the universe's expansion and predict how it might continue to evolve. However, there's a limit to how far back we can see. The cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang, is the oldest light we can observe, dating back to about 380,000 years after the universe began. Beyond this, the universe was opaque to light, limiting our direct observational window into its earliest moments. 
This boundary also means there's a limit to our direct knowledge of the universe's future, as we can only infer what lies beyond based on our current understanding of physics. In the context of the universe's demise, the speed of light also means that any observable changes, such as the accelerated expansion driven by dark energy, are seen with a delay. If the universe were heading towards a scenario like the Big Rip, where galaxies, stars, and even atomic structures are torn apart by the accelerating expansion of space, we would only be able to observe these events long after they have occurred. The speed of light plays a role in our understanding of phenomena that could signal the universe's end. For example, if a distant galaxy were to suddenly vanish or change due to some cosmic event linked to the universe's fate, we wouldn't know about it until the light from that event reaches us, potentially millions or billions of years later. What impact would the universe's end have on the concept of time? The concept of time is deeply intertwined with our understanding of the universe, and the way the cosmos eventually ends would indeed have a profound impact on our perception of time itself. In the context of cosmology, time is often viewed as a linear progression from the moment of the Big Bang to the distant future. Our human experience of time is based on the ticking of clocks and the regular rhythms of our daily lives. However, the fate of the universe, as predicted by different cosmological models, can challenge and transform our understanding of time in several ways. One of the fundamental aspects of time is its directionality, often referred to as the arrow of time. This directionality is tied to the increase of entropy or disorder in the universe, as described by the second law of thermodynamics. If the universe were to end in a scenario like the big freeze or heat death, where entropy reaches its maximum and the universe becomes a cold, uniform expanse, the arrow of time would lose its significance. Time would appear to stop as there would be no more change or dynamic processes. Einstein's theory of relativity introduced the concept of time dilation, which means that time can pass at different rates depending on an observer's relative motion or gravitational field. In extreme scenarios, such as near black holes or in the context of the expanding universe, time dilation can lead to vastly different experiences of time for different observers. As the universe evolves towards its end, these relativistic effects would become more pronounced. Quantum mechanics, the theory governing the behavior of particles on a very small scale, introduces intriguing concepts related to time. In certain quantum scenarios, time can behave in a nonlinear or even discontinuous manner. If the universe's end involves quantum phenomena, it could challenge our classical notions of time. Some cosmological theories propose that the universe might go through cycles of expansion and contraction, with each cycle marking a new Big Bang. In such a cyclic model, time would persist across these cycles, suggesting a more cyclical and eternal concept of time. Ultimately, the universe's end, whether it's a scenario like the Big Freeze, Big Crunch, or something entirely different, would force us to reconsider and expand our understanding of time. It could challenge our conventional, linear perception of time and lead to new philosophical and scientific insights into the nature of temporal existence. The universe's end, whether it unfolds as a cosmic freeze, a dramatic rip, a graceful fade into darkness, or in ways we can only begin to imagine, challenges us to reevaluate our understanding of reality. It calls upon us to ponder the very essence of time itself and the significance of our existence within this cosmic story. The journey is far from over, and the universe's end is just one chapter in the epic saga of the cosmos. As we continue to explore, learn, and dream, we are bound to encounter new wonders and unlock the secrets of the universe, one discovery at a time. Thanks for watching Envision Space. See you in the next one.